This video is for educational purposes only. We do not condone or encourage illegal activities. What's up everyone, it's your girl, CyberGirl, and today we're diving into the world of hacking. I'll reveal 10 of the most common codes hackers use and how you can defend yourself. We'll break down how these attacks work and give you real tips to stay safe. The digital world is a battlefield, but knowledge is your best weapon. Ready to become a cybersecurity champion? Let's get started. The first code on our list is one of the most powerful and widely used in the world. First up, SQL injection, SQLI. Imagine a hacker typing code into a website's login form instead of a username. This tricks the database into giving up all its secrets, usernames, passwords, credit cards, everything. It's shockingly common and responsible for massive data breaches. Hackers look for input fields, test for errors, and then unleash malicious code to extract data. Developers must use prepared statements to block these attacks. As a user, protect yourself by using strong, unique passwords for every site. If one site is breached, your other accounts stay safe. SQLI is simple, but devastating if you're not prepared. Next, let's talk about cross-site scripting, commonly known as XSS. This is one of the most widespread and dangerous vulnerabilities found on the web today, and it can affect almost any website that allows users to input data. In an XSS attack, hackers sneak malicious JavaScript code into places like comment sections, search bars, or even links on trusted websites. They often disguise this code to look harmless, making it easy to overlook. When you visit a compromised page, the hidden code silently runs in your browser. This can let attackers steal your cookies, which are used to keep you logged in, hijack your account, or even redirect you to fake websites designed to steal your information or install malware. There are two main types of XSS. Stored XSS, where the malicious code is permanently saved on the website and affects every visitor. And reflected XSS, which is triggered when you click a specially crafted link that sends the code to the site just for your session. To prevent XSS, developers must always sanitize and validate every piece of user input, making sure that no harmful code can slip through. This means carefully checking comments, forms, and any data that users can submit. For users, it's important to be cautious with links, especially those sent through emails, messages, or social media. If something looks suspicious or too good to be true, don't click it. Make sure you use browsers that have strong XSS protection features built in, and always keep your browser updated to the latest version. Updates often include important security patches. Remember, XSS takes advantage of your trust in a website. Even if a site looks professional and reputable, it can still be vulnerable if the code isn't secure. Even the most popular and trusted websites can become dangerous if they haven't been properly protected against XSS. Always be aware of the risks, no matter where you are online. Stay vigilant, think before you click, and don't let your guard down. Your online safety depends on it. Number three, phishing scripts. These are some of the most common and dangerous tools in a hacker's arsenal, and they're getting more sophisticated every day. Hackers often clone real websites, making perfect copies that look almost identical to the genuine ones. They then send out fake emails, pretending to be from trusted companies or services, hoping to trick you into clicking a link and entering your login information. The moment you type your username and password into one of these fake sites, your credentials are instantly sent straight to the attacker, giving them access to your accounts in seconds. Phishing kits, pre-made packages with all the tools needed to launch these attacks, are easy to find on the dark web. Criminals can set them up in minutes, then just sit back and wait for unsuspecting victims to fall into their trap. One of the best ways to protect yourself is to always check the website's URL before logging in. Look for subtle differences, like a missing letter, a strange domain, or extra characters that can signal a fake site. When you get an email with a link, don't click right away. Hover your mouse over the link to preview where it really goes. If the address looks suspicious or unfamiliar, don't trust it. Enable two-factor authentication on all your important accounts. Even if a hacker manages to steal your password, they won't be able to get in without the code sent to your phone or authentication app. Remember, phishing relies on creating panic and urgency. Hackers want you to act fast, maybe by saying your account will be locked or you've won a prize, so you don't have time to think. Whenever you get an unexpected message or request, take a moment to pause, double-check the details, verify the sender, and make sure the website is legitimate before entering any information. Don't let a fake site steal your identity or compromise your personal information. Stay alert, stay cautious, and you'll be much safer online. 
Next up, key loggers. These silent programs record every keystroke, passwords, messages, credit cards, everything. They're often hidden in downloads, email attachments, or pirated software. Once installed, they send your data back to the hacker without you ever knowing. Protect yourself. Use up-to-date antivirus, avoid sketchy downloads, and don't open suspicious attachments. Password managers can help. Autofilling credentials can bypass some keyloggers. Keyloggers are invisible, but good habits and security tools can stop them. Your privacy is at stake. Don't make it easy for hackers. Stay vigilant and keep your defenses strong. One careless click can compromise everything. Let's talk brute force attacks. Hackers use scripts to guess your password, thousands of times per minute. Simple passwords fall in seconds. Longer, complex ones take centuries. Dictionary attacks use lists of common passwords, while hybrid attacks mix words and symbols. Always use long, unique passwords. Password managers make this easy. Enable two-factor authentication for an extra layer of security. Websites can help by locking accounts after failed attempts. Don't use password or 123456. Those are hacker gold. Make your digital door too strong to break down. Brute force is relentless, but you can outsmart it. Remote access trojans, commonly known as rats, are pure nightmare fuel for anyone who values their privacy and security. These malicious programs are designed to give hackers complete, invisible control over your computer, often without you even realizing it's happening. Once a rat is installed, a hacker can take over your system as if they were sitting right in front of it. They can see everything on your screen, browse through your personal files, use your webcam to spy on you, record your keystrokes, steal sensitive information like passwords or banking details, and even install more malware. The attacker can manipulate your device in real time, making it a terrifying invasion of your digital life. Rats often sneak onto your device by hiding in fake downloads, malicious email attachments, or even through seemingly harmless software updates. Sometimes, just clicking a suspicious link or opening a shady attachment is enough to let a rat in. Cybercriminals are constantly coming up with new tricks to fool you into installing these dangerous programs. Watch for warning signs, your mouse moving on its own, programs opening or closing unexpectedly, your webcam light turning on without your permission, or strange pop-ups appearing. These are all red flags that someone else might be controlling your computer from afar. To prevent infection, always avoid sketchy downloads and be extremely cautious with email attachments, even if they look like they're from someone you know. Keep your operating system and security software updated and enable your firewall to block unauthorized access. A little caution goes a long way in keeping rats out. If you suspect your device has been compromised by a rat, immediately disconnect from the internet to cut off the hacker's access. Then, run a deep malware scan using trusted antivirus software. If you're unsure, seek help from a professional or your IT department. In some cases, Rats are so deeply embedded that a full system wipe, erasing all your data and reinstalling your operating system, is the only way to be sure your device is clean. It's a drastic step, but sometimes it's necessary to reclaim your security. Rats essentially turn your device into a puppet, letting hackers pull the strings from anywhere in the world. Don't let them take control of your digital life. Stay alert, adjust your privacy settings, cover your webcam when not in use, and use strong, unique passwords. Protecting your privacy is an ongoing process. Remember, your computer should only answer to you. Take control, stay vigilant, and keep your digital world safe from prying eyes. Now, Wi-Fi deauthentication attacks. Hackers can kick devices off Wi-Fi without knowing the password, just by being nearby. They send fake disconnect messages, forcing you offline. This is often the first step in an evil twin attack, where you're tricked into joining a fake Wi-Fi network. Once connected, hackers can intercept your data or inject malware. Public Wi-Fi is especially risky. Use a VPN to encrypt your traffic. Be cautious when reconnecting to Wi-Fi, especially in public places. Deal with attacks are disruptive and sneaky. Protect yourself by avoiding sensitive tasks on public networks. When in doubt, use your mobile data instead. Packet sniffers are digital wiretaps, on unsecured networks, hackers can capture everything you send, logins, messages, even entire web pages. Public Wi-Fi is a goldmine for sniffers. If a site uses HTTP instead of HTTPS, your data is sent in plain text. Protect yourself. Avoid sensitive tasks on public Wi-Fi, use a VPN, and always look for HTTPS. Hackers can quietly collect data without you ever knowing. Encryption is your best defense. 
Don't let your information travel unprotected. Stay secure even in a crowded coffee shop. Social engineering hacks your mind, not your computer. Hackers use scripts, emails, calls, or pop-ups to trick you into giving up info or access. They pretend to be your bank, tech support, or even a friend. The goal? Get you to reveal passwords, install malware, or visit fake sites. Always verify requests through official channels. Never trust unsolicited messages. Be skeptical of urgency or fear tactics. No real company will ask for your password or remote access out of the blue. Awareness is your best defense. Don't let social engineering bypass your security. Stay sharp and question everything. DDoS attacks are the internet's sledgehammer. Hackers use botnets, armies of infected computers to flood a website with traffic, knocking it offline. The goal disrupt, extort, or protest. Victims can lose money, reputation, and users. Defending against DDoS is up to the website using special hardware and cloud services. As a user, you can only wait for the site to recover. DDoS shows how fragile the internet can be. It's a reminder, even the biggest sites aren't invincible. Stay patient and know the signs. You've just learned the top 10 hacker codes and how to defend yourself. From DDoS to social engineering, you now know the playbook. Use strong passwords, enable two-factor authentication, and stay skeptical of messages and links. Use a VPN on public Wi-Fi and keep your software updated. These habits make you a hard target. If you found this helpful, like and share the video, and subscribe for more cybersecurity tips. Stay vigilant, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.